Hi guys, it's Jonna. We are making a collage master board. Everybody's doing this on all the social medias right now. And I had to get in on the fun. So I have um, a few projects that require some bright materials and I'm going to be putting in it. So I thought, why not join in on it? I've got tons of scraps. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've pulled for my own master board. And I'm going to be working not on paper, but I'm going to be working on chipboard. So um, I've got this. So I'm just various paper pad backs and stuff like that. You could do cereal boxes, cracker boxes, whatever you need to do. I would probably gesso on the print just so it doesn't show through uh, if you are using like a cracker box or something like that. And yeah, and you just need um, some kind of brush or a scraper like, um, you know, like a old credit card or hotel key and then some I'm using a collage medium mat this is from Ranger distress I really love this stuff and but you can use you know whatever kind of uh, medium you like using like a matte gel medium and I'm using this one I've got my little glue book here in case I'm going to be using a glue stick on some items I don't know I use glue when I collage stuff down too so I may end up doing that and I've got some scissors on standby for cutting out my shapes because I've got some bigger pieces here. Some of the paper I'm using, magazine paper, catalog paper with uh, catalog paper from uh, Home Interiors is great because they'll have like pictures and stuff. So I've got this like painting background type things. I've got, I don't know what this is, a registration permit for somebody. And then I've got some scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper. I've got some vintage wrapping paper. Uh, I don't even know. What this is, this is newspaper with some colors on it. This was jelly printed paper, uh, some paper out of, I believe it's like a Daphne's diary or something like that. I'm not really sure. This is just some paper that was down on my desk that I just like pinky paper and I uh, stenciled and stuff on that. I've got some strips from some project I just did from the last video and then I've got some magazine pages with the colors that I want to be working with. And I think these came out of a Daphne's diary, but I could uh, thought these were the colors that I wanted to work with. Uh, so I pulled some of those uh, pages out also. And yeah, so that's kind of what I'm using. So let's get started. I'm going to first start out by taking a piece of chipboard. Again, this is a little heavier uh, chipboard that I'm using here. And I'm going to be, uh, I'm just going to start collaging. So I'm going to take some of this paper and probably what I'll end up using is a ruler if I could find one. Hold on one second and let me get my ruler. Okay, I've got a ruler. So I'm just going to start to take off the white edge off of this. I'm going to tear from this side might be easier. That'll give me a good edge there. And I'm just going to come through and randomly tear some. Now, this is done on newsprint, so this is tearing super easy. I just want a variety of those. And I've got this, so I'm going to just, I always find it easier to hold it down and then tear the bigger side. Does that make sense? If you want a little strip of it. So I've got that, and then these are just going to go back into my bin uh, that I've got with my scraps in, sitting in it. I guess I'm going to take the white off because I don't want the white edge. Oops, didn't put that down very well. Strips. This. Don't want to use too many, too much wording. I might just do a whole pile of these and then. I'm going to add in some neutral. Some of this 
corally color. This wrapping paper. And just work really fast. And if you already have strips, I don't have strips handy, so I've got to make my own strips. <laughs> so. Again, I'll use that. I'll use the stripper there. Use the boxes. This color, you can use solids. Reddish color. I've got some smaller strips I'm going to add in. Look at that. So pretty. That. I'm going to also rip from this side to get a little bit of variation and make it a little bit narrower. Let's do this one. That. We've got all these strips, lots of fun, colorful strips, and we're just going to go to town and collage them down. And I put this uh, seal wrap over top of my collage. Oh, goodness. I don't have very much of this, do I? So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm just going to put some of this fog medium down, and it dries super fast. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to let some stuff hang off the edge and then come back and trim it. Let's see. Do the strip. Like so. I'm also going to go over top of it too. This dries really fast, so you have to kind of move fast. I'm gonna cut, try to cover up any kind of words. I don't know that I necessarily want words. There's that. And then there's some pink in here. And I work very intuitively. So I don't, uh, it's not like I'm even thinking about placing it or anything like that. I'm just laying it down. I already know that these are going to be my color combos. So um, I'm just, like I said, just laying it down very quickly, not even thinking about it. Oops. Ah, this uh, magazine paper apparently is very thin. Love that with the um, laundry pins. So I'm just grabbing because I know that these um, the, these are the colors that I want to work with. So when I get done, like I said, when I get done cutting it, um, and I'm not working with neutrals on this one. I'll probably do a neutral master board, but right now I really just want to uh, do color. I want to get color down.
Alrighty. Do I need do I need any of this little foil anywhere? I think I got. I think I'm good. Okay, so here's my board so far. I have uh, collaged it put collage mat medium underneath and above. And that is my colorful master board right there. See how fast that is? I'm gonna uh, wipe my fingers off super quick. And I used all my collage medium, grab my brush, toss this little, well, I'm gonna wash that jar out because I can always use it for something. Um, alrighty, and then I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to trim off all these random edges. So just trim that up. Okay, and then I'm gonna let this dry. We'll let this dry, and I will be back. Oh my goodness, guys! I totally forgot to hit the record button when I came back, but I want to show you what I ended up doing with my master board. So I cut it down, and I made these little. Um, little like chipboard book ladies whatever you want to call them dimensional things however you want to use them and i used some uh dictionary i had some dictionary paper that i cut up and i had children's book page that i cut up words and put them down and to make the words stand up i put them on some scraps of watercolor paper that i had watercolored and i just glued the word right down to the watercolor i cut it out around it just gave it a little border and then i glued it on my master board and cut them up and that's how i got those so anyway i'm so sorry that I didn't hit record. I thought I had recorded. But anyway, thank you for joining me. And um, I hope you come back for another one of my crafting videos that hopefully I will capture on a video. Anyway, you saw how I made the master board. And then this is what you can um, accomplish when you, you know, cut it up. So have a good day and keep crafting. Bye-bye.